Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video of the F122 Driver Crimmer with McLaren, episode number 55 today for the Bahrain Grand Prix, the opening round of season 4. If you missed the pre season episode, um, which will explain why we're at McLaren, then I recommend you go and check that one out. That was uploaded on Monday. But obviously, um, we haven't, can't, haven't got enough time to do anything really with R&D. Just taking a quick look where we are. We're fast is just about to Ferrari on the Sashi. There's only one engine upgrade left, but we are a little bit ahead of Mercedes. Mercedes surprisingly second though, even though they are dreading the straight line. Durability, all the top teams are down the bottom, and the bottom teams are at the top there. So, very interesting. Hello and welcome to the team. My name is Jamie. I'm the head of R&D. I've been looking forward to meeting you. We'll be working together pretty closely, so I want to make sure I got the chance to grab you before you head to the garage. Your workstation should be all set up and ready to go, but let me know if you run into any issues. Best of luck. Thanks, Jamie. Nice little cameo there. For him, he won't be featuring a lot in this career mode because, of course, they haven't got a cutscene with him in. Uh, but yes, confirmation of where we are, uh, post the regulation change, the engine and durability departments from season 3 to 4, uh, it's obviously we have a bit of an advantage over Ferrari and Mercedes. Uh, Red Bull have slumped below Alpine as well, and then the bottom four teams are miles behind still compared to the gaps between everyone else. So I'm intrigued to see where the cars though are, are on the track because we all know that Ferrari, you know, have been at times the fastest car, and yet they've been nowhere near domination uh, or getting for close there, but. Um, Bahrain, I'm not going to lie, I don't like this circuit on this game, for some reason on this year's game, and I think it's to do still with the traction that the, the AI were OP at the start of the game, I think that the AI still have a little bit of that left in them, especially around Bahrain um, as well, but anyway, um, I think that's either that or it's just me my driving style just just doesn't suit this track really something's anyway something's wrong so this might be the last appearance for of Bahrain in this driver crew mode does Piastri's gone fastest but the times are expected to tumble now um, as of course it gets cooler um, as we go on through the night um, excuse me as we come now through into the middle sector that, tur that hairpin is always been horrific on a pad um, and always will be. It's just the nature of the F1 game, really. Unfortunately, we'll see where we are in the middle set. We are three tenths up, but that's bearing in mind we're still doing that medium uh, tyre first run, of course. Uh, we're two and a half tenths up on Gasly. That's only a P11, though. So hopefully we can get into the top ten uh, as well. As I say, not too concerned that the first sector wasn't that fast because we were rapid in the first sector anyway compared to the AI it's just the mid we need to improve in the middle sector and then of course the final sector up to the line it's half a tenth improvement that's enough P9 which I, I suppose is okay it's not not the end of the world I mean we have I've had our worst qualifying and other career modes not other tracks on this game but uh, yeah I'd have liked to have been a bit further up especially the fact on his debut, Oscar Piastri's on pole. Yeah, don't ask me how he's managed to do that. Lando Norris can use his good form from season three. He's in second place. But how long can he continue to take that Alpine far and above where it really is? We'll have to wait and see. As well, the two Red Bulls, only fifth and sixth as well. But for us, P9 on the grid, I know it's not the end of the world. We can make it, we can work from here. So we'll see what we can do time for the race. No more testing, no more practice. This is the real deal. And it's make or break here at round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Oscar Piastri lines up on pole position, and Lando Norris lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Sainz, Russell, Charles Leclerc, and Verstappen, Hamilton, Vettel, 
Phoenix and Esteban Ocon. Magnussen, Gasly, Alex Albon and Mick Schumacher. Sonoda, Bottas, Lance Stroll and Robert Schwartzman. Joe and Nicholas Latifi. And we're lights out just moments away. It's time to go down to the track. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. So race strategy then, as we drop down the whip, Mark's got no regards for us. Um, it's going to be a one stop from soft to medium. Just have a look at medium to soft. Uh, you know, especially the hat. We lower slightly lower down, but it's not faster. Um, might be tempted by that. Again, lower the fuel limit, but I've got a bit of an issue with fuel limits. Uh, the fuel, because it, it is broken. Um, you, need, you need like multiple laps of fuel be able to survive in the AI I've got like six laps of extra fuel anyway enough about that far the lights right now away we go we already initially cut the left the left hand line because we know we're going to have an absolutely atrocious start uh, but nevertheless we are going to dive down the inside contact with uh, I think that's Hamilton there is he going side by side with his former championship rival Max Verstappen who's back in the Red Bull powered by Aston Martin Hamilton is a bit slow, up to turn 4, and we're up to P6 already, so this has been a good start. Um, but now we need to try and get in front of so the Saturn sites, and I think that's the other, yes, it's the other Mercedes, George Russell. We know how slow Mercedes on paper have been, as we're leaving Hamilton and Leclerc behind. We're also going to try and breeze past Verstappen. We locks up, and we're going to take full advantage of that and go down the inside but it comes back at us at turn two to be fair and to him what happened here why did he i don't know uh, there's never going to be a on that move on you see he goes wide almost goes into the back of the ferrari of sights and then cuts the corner as well so he's narrowly missing the back of carlos Sainz. that would have been a massive shot then we there's our dive and then he decides to cut the corner try and get by on the inside we're not having that meanwhile up at the front comfortably cruising is Oscar Piastri he seems to be loving life in the McLaren even though it is his first ever F1 race and has been sat out three seasons without doing anything as well maybe that's the I don't know if that's the focus stat a little bit broken or not but we'll have to wait and see how he progresses or maybe it's just the McLaren car. We'll see, or, you know, it's going to be interesting to see whether or not we can catch up to him, whether Norris and the others in front of us can catch up to us. Speaking of trying to catch up to them, you'd have seen there, uh, on that little straight up, the hairpin, the AI get us so much good traction over me, it's a joke. So, you know, there's just... I have the pace to be able to walk this Grand Prix but I can't do it because of the traction out of that turn 10, that hairpin there, which is just tragic um, how bad that has that become. Because it's a shame, because Bahrain, you know, used to be a fan favourite for me. Um, as a track, you know, as the, first, as the first round of the season, as it has recently become. Uh, 2.5 seconds, not, not bad for a first pit stop. At, not, Norris is out in front of us. Not to see where we come out but yes as I was saying it's a, it's a shame to see that certain tracks on this game have been ruined uh, by the way the AI behave but anyway um, I'm going to come out in P12 bit of clean air as well so that's crucially important as we're watching Norris following lap uh, he is going to be behind Russell so Russell has overcut Norris we've not been able to get in front of Carlos Sainz and we've lost time and speaking of people coming out the pits, there is Yuki Tsunoda in the Porsche Williams. And there's debris all over the place. And that is going to bring out a safety car. Uh, we'll get a replay on board with Tsunoda. He tries to dock down the inside of Bottas. And then he locks up into Bottas. And he goes through as does 
yeah, his former team as well. So that's that's going to allow Piastri to make his pit stop onto a set of medium compound tyres, but he's going to bunch the group the the grid up, which is going to play into my hands now because they're not they were you know they had that little bit advantage by the making the overcut work with Sainz and Norris. That's something to think about later on down the line whether we try the overcuts in a later episode or something. But anyway. Safety cars come in at the end of lap number 10. We've got a three lap sprint. We're right up the back of Carlos Sainz, whose Ferrari have just gone backwards. And then, no brakes! That was close. That was close with George Russell, but somehow we've made it up to P2. That is a very good but. That, that I didn't want. To, I wanted to get in front of Norris. The intention wasn't to get in front of Russell, but we did force Russell out here. Look at Norris. Uh, he sees. You know, Russell does see me coming. He, he actually ends up drifting wide in turn two, and Norris takes full advantage. So he's up to P3. Uh, is Norris going to have a go here? No. So it's a McLaren one two. Is Lando regressing, moving to Alpine? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But jump to lap 12, we've cleared Norris and Russell. So, clear, as I say, we've got clear pace, especially down the pit straight. Set a new personal best at 29.4 on very warm medium. So, there's definitely pace there. And we're going to get just about get in front, get into DRS range of Piastri now on lap 13. Unfortunately, look how bad the traction is out of that. There's four tenths out of turn three up to turn four. And it's the same here down at turn 10. So, you know, those two corners, the way the AI get the traction down there, is just ruined this track um, as well. To be fair, we didn't lose quite as much time. I remember we are in the same machinery um, as well. We've, probably, we've got a custom setup on, but it'd be nice to be able to, you know, have a race with a bit more with the AI and not have to see them walk away at those two of the three DRS zones, basically, as well. So, yes. That's unfortunate, but it is nevertheless P2, and after P9, I will on the grid. I will definitely take that. Um, it's definitely something we can improve on. Um, you know, Bahrain not being a good track for me. It's always good to get damage limitation, and com com seeing the fact that the damage limitation is to our teammate, um, who we know is in his first season whether or not he can sustain his winning streak we'll have to wait and see as well Norris I think he'd be slightly disappointed he wasn't able to take on Piastri today in the Alpine but we know that Alpine does struggle which is you know a lot of people we will be questioning why has he made that move um, as well science as well P P5 behind Russell in the end you know the Red Bull's not do, able to do anything either Vettel having one of the sadly is very much past his prime and even the Hamilton now P10 uh, as well so I'm, I'm hope you know we're expect the expectation is at some point Vettel and Hamilton will probably retire um, it's such a shame to see them away but constructors is looking very good you know, we're already there, and there's a big fight room between Alpine, Red Bull, Ferrari, and Mercedes. But whether or not who can get the most out of their car, that's going to be what to what we're going to see. Whether or not they can catch up and upgrade their cars, uh, in a, overall, to be able to catch the McLaren. So yes, that's where I'm going to leave it today's episode. If you have enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and you the channel. See plenty more F122 driver videos with McLaren. The next episode will be on, on Monday at Jeddah. So you know, a better track for me. We've won there in the past, unlike on this on this career mode. So we should we, the target the target will be victory there, considering the fact I don't think in these time between Bahrain and Jeddah the AI will be able to bring the upgrades they need to catch up to us so until the next video then i'll see you next time take care thanks so much for watching josh day and goodbye